can you hear me now? I hope you can hear me now. Um, so yeah, you never really experienced Columbia until you, unless you've been here before 2018, 100%. You never really experienced Columbia. What you see post 2018 is a different. It's the new Columbia. It's not what what people think. People that come here looking for uh, you know, something that's like euphoric. That that's what it used to be. That's what it used to be like. Now it's just. I don't know. Let's talk about it. I don't know what to say, Columbia. It's not what it used to be. We could we gotta define what Columbia is today. Um, it's a getaway, but you better be proud to pay if you want to get away. You feel me? So you better be proud to pay if you want to give away. Give my video a thumbs up if you're tuned in right now. Um, so let's talk about it. Just the Airbnb prices alone, like the increases in the last year, I would say after COVID, things really shot up like incredibly fast. After COVID is when things really started to take off. 2021, some sometime around there, like every everybody decided to want to go up on pricing and stuff. So, you know, now that the the dollar is jumping up crazy hard, you know, up to 5,000. Everybody's seen the news. You know, the dollar's at 5,000 right now. So that's evening things out. But what we're talking about today is a little bit complex. Are you proud to pay? Are you proud to come here and start spending more than you used to pay before to get the same service? And sometimes less service because it's more commercialized. It's not as good service, you know. So are you willing to still pay the same amount that you had to pay, you know. Back then, you pay probably half what you're paying now, especially when it comes to housing. Um, and, of course, the, the girls are getting much smarter. So I'm going to let's read some of these comments. Um, we got the comments, man. <clears throat> so what the fuck you be sucks he says um you're heading here next week you'll be here for three weeks but this is your fifth time you were going to move there but they elected a communist president so now i don't even know <laughs> yeah i don't know uh i don't know if he's communist i don't really know enough about the politics on that level where I could tell you. People say that, though, that he's communist or whatever. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, no. You don't even know right now. If you're going to move here, man, I think it's the perfect time to move here. You know what I mean? 5,000 peso exchange rate. It's the perfect time to move shitting me you shitting me dog you shitting me don't be shitting me dog but for real like it's going up out here if you're willing to pay to play you know what i'm saying if you're proud to play if you're proud to pay to play then medellin is the spot to be you got to be proud to pay you got to be proud to see the Colombian people making their money. You know what I mean? If you want to be out here. Otherwise, you're going to be pissed off all the time because they are going to make their money. This is their world. So, you know, Medellin's got to come up too. Medellin's got to come up. They're making their money. The girls are getting smarter. They're figuring y'all out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Dudes want to fall in love with a Colombian woman nowadays, it's like the it's like the thing to do, you know what I mean? It's the thing to do now. Back in twenty seventeen, you know, you was flying under the radar with that. 
that type of mood. Now it's just, you know, it's burnt out. I live in Austin now, bro. I'm not about to buy a place and then the communist regime comes and confiscates my house for the people. Nah, they're not going to do that. It's not going to get to that point. You know what I mean? It's not going to get to that point, you know. By the way, give the video a thumbs up, guys. Uh, it's not going to get to that point out here in Colombia where the government is taking over people's property, you know, that they're, I don't even think the military here is like super, super active and strong like that. Like, I don't know. Colombia, they be chilling too hard. Like the people, the streets run this shit. Like there's no way that the military is going to come in and like take over the, like anything. I just don't see it happening, but We'll see. For right now, we got the best exchange rate you ever you ever seen. So, you know, that's promising. Let's say that much. But you got to be proud to pay, man. Are you proud to pay? Are you proud to give your money to the Colombian people? Are you proud to see them come up a little bit? You know what I mean? Like, niggas be mad. I'm making YouTube videos out here. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I guess it's because I'm out here. Maybe I fucked your bitch. I would have fucked your bitch in the States anyway. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter where we at. It shit would have happened in either way. So, can't be mad at that. But, nah. Everybody be trying to... Like, it's competitive out here. It's always been competitive. Like, if you want that girl, if you want the baddie, every dude wants the baddie. Nobody's okay with the regular chick, so they come out here thinking they're going to get that on a budget. It's not so It's not so sweet no more because everybody want to do that now. Yeah, Medellin is getting overcrowded. It's, it's getting packed up. It's a lot of folks out here. I'll hit you up when I'm in town. We can't we can't have a beer and cash out. Need to find some good weed. Cash out, man. Cash out, it's your boy. What's going on? You know what's going on. Yeah, nah, you smoking on that. Mm-mm. No, oh, sir, but yeah, man, like out here, you can still find it. You can still find that one. You just got to be a little bit smarter. You got to dig a little bit deeper to find that real Colombian, John. You feel me? Are you willing to put in the work, dog? Are you willing to put in the work? See, I done had like four that I low-key tossed back or fucked up or did some dumb shit. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me when it comes to relationships. But I always fuck it up. Like, shout out to my bit. What happened with the visa situation, bro, for the Colombians coming to the States? It's unconfirmed, player. It's not happening just yet, player. You're going to have to wait on that. Stay tuned. It's not happening just yet. It's not, yeah, it ain't happened just yet. We waiting on that one. To be honest, the chances, you know, I don't know. I don't know, my man. I don't really know, my man. It could happen. It might not happen. I don't know, my man. It could happen, though, but it might not happen, you know? You know, so give this video a thumbs up, my man. Yeah, what else y'all trying to know? You feel me? What else y'all talking about? Um, do you have a visa or are you on a tourist visa? I have a long-term visa, fam. I have a long-term visa. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. If you coming out here, you know what I'm saying, 
You gotta have to figure out a visa situation. That's gonna be costly, possibly. If you're doing the digital nomad visa, I believe you have to apply every year over and over. So just be aware of that. Check into it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure maybe talk to a lawyer, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, like there's there's really two types of people that come out here nowadays and it's like there's a dude that's trying to skimp out, you know, that wants to do everything cheap, cheap, cheap. I want the cheapest apartment. I, I came here for price, you know, and then there's the dude that comes and he's ready to spend his money. You know what I'm saying? He worked hard for his money. You know what I'm saying? He did it, whatever he do. You know, he's living in the so-called matrix in the United States or in a Western country. And he just wants to celebrate life, be himself for a little while, not feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Have some company. You know what I mean? Something special, right? And so that man is proud to pay to play. You feel me? That's a and that's that's a special thing. You want to be proud to pay. You want to be happy when you spend your money. You don't want to have buyer's remorse. You know? Yeah. Shout out to Langone. Okay. Yeah. You want to be proud to pay. You know, whatever, you know, everything is legal out here. Whatever you want to do, just do it. But my, my holy, my holy grail, holy Mary, just don't, don't be out here trying to skimp and save too much money because you, I don't know, it can end up bad. You know what I mean? Just be honest about what you're looking at, looking for, I'm sorry, right? And, and you will get that out here. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. You will get what you want. Just be honest about what you want. You know what I'm saying? It's facts. Just be honest about what you want. Y'all give this video a thumbs up, family. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on, people? Yes, yeah, sir. What's going on? So, I mean, who if you if you're proud to pay, put give me a thumbs up right now in the or put a one in the chat either or, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. All right. I know there's somebody out there. You just want to have a good time. You're not with the shenanigans. You know, you only got a week. You only got a couple days. You're here. You're trying to get with it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to y'all. You know what I mean? <clears throat> You're going to do well out here. It's it's still a great place to come. All right. You know, there's options around Colombia. There's tons of options wherever you want to be. You like it a little warmer, they got that. If you like it a little cooler, they got that. Um, if you like the beach, they got that. If you like the mountains, they got that. If you like rain, if you like snow, they got that. You know what I mean? What happened with the girl cooking Alfredo? Uh, she was a baddie. I'm gonna be there in January. You want me? You want me to slide you her, her uh, contact? You know what I'm saying? You want her contact? Let me know. Shout out, old oh girl. She's right up the street, man. She's right here. She's right here living her best life. Trying to go hard, you know? Trying to get it in. 
Yeah. Yeah, whatever you want. They got it out here. But you're going to have to pay. I mean, you got to pay, man. At the end of the day, somebody's got to pay. Let's be real about it. Let's be real about it, fellas. Who's going to pay? Your girl going to pay? Uh-huh. You think so? You think this chick she just met is going to pay for your ass? Get the fuck out of here. She ain't paying for shit. She going to finesse you a little bit. She going to play with it. Some Some good girls will pay, though. They'll pay a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. Because they got it. You know what I mean? But come on. You best, You just better just be proud. Just be proud to pay. You know what I'm saying? What's going on with y'all? What's going on with y'all? What y'all need to know about Columbia? Is it safe? Yeah, depending... It's highly dependent on you and where and what you need to get done day in and day out. <clears throat> you know, and where are you do- going about doing that at? You know what I'm saying? So, it's just all about what you want out of life, man. What do you want? You want fame? You want money? What you want? You want women? Or you want money. What you want? You know? You can have it your way out here in Colombia, man. Medellin, Medajo. Let's keep it real. Favorite city in Colombia. Y'all tell me. Drop in the chat. What's your favorite city in Colombia? I'm very interested. Very interested. Very interesting, guys. <clears throat> I'll tell y'all my I'll tell y'all my favorite city in Colombia in a minute. I want to hear y'all. So turn up, turn up. Can I get some votes for uh, been to Fase Dos lately, bro? I was just in Fase Dos this weekend. I was just there. All right, what's up? What's up? What you need to know? What you need to know? I was just in Fase. Yo, L. Envigado. Okay. It's basically Medellin. Um, okay. Gotta vote for Envigado. What else? What else? Fase is 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 lit, bro. Fase is going stupid. Fase is going stupid to this day. They've been going hard for years, you know. It's turned, but the DJ sucks. They be playing like some weird ass rock music and all this bullshit ass rock. Like they need to turn up. They need to turn up. Put on some real street shit or um. I don't know, just some some different, some Afro beats or something. Yeah, Lorelis, Lorelis is. I mean, if you want to call that a city, man, I guess it's just a part of Medellin, just a neighborhood. So I guess we'll let that slide. Yeah, Lorelis is cool. It's I right. not my favorite place in the world, but you know what I'm saying. It's cool. I mean, y'all just picking spots in in, in Madajo, though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not even throwing out spots outside of Antioquia or nothing. You know what I'm saying? We're we're my people that rock with the coast. You know what I'm saying? Don't y'all be going up on the coast? Bro, one of the baddest girls I ever met in my life, bro. I swear, in Cartagena. I hate Cartagena. I hate Cartagena, dog. I fucking hate Cartagena. 
So much. But I got to say, bro, I met one of the baddest bitches in my life out there. And she was solid. She was so solid, bro. She was Aries, too. Like, that should be crazy. When you meet your own sign, that should be wild. Um, the relics is getting dangerous lately. <sighs> yeah, is it? Is Lorella's getting dangerous lately? Man. You know what I'm saying? The whole world getting dangerous lately. Too, but... You're gonna hit Hardin when I come out next week. Okay. Hardin? That's a good spot. I've been out there. Everybody hates Cartagena. Everybody hates Cartagena. Really? That's not true. A lot of people like Cartagena. I don't. I hate that. It's like ghetto as fuck. That's it. I don't fuck with it. The girl. Bro, I seen like two. Bro, when I was in Cartagena, I seen like two bitches beating the fuck out of dude. Like, I was walking <clears throat> by the clock tower in one of them alleys. And it's like two hoes just being the shit out this like tourist, bro. Like took his phone, just like threw that bitch at the ground. Fucking um took that nigga bag and shit. Kicking that nigga, bro. It was some some females being this nigga up. Bro, I don't fuck with Cartagena at all. What up? Mr. Spacely, shout out to PV, man. I don't know what the fuck going on. But yeah, what's y'all, what's y'all talking about? Who's really proud to pay, proud to pay for Columbia? Because you, you got to be, you know, right now I'm seeing prices go up. You know, apartments now, a nice apartment um, nowadays out here, it's costing like double what it used to cost. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Like, double at least. Because uh, basically, what's going on, they done figured it out. You know? They done figured it out. Colombians done figured it out. They want their money. They want their fucking money, dog. They ain't trying to have motherfuckers over here just tearing shit up for free. Fucking hop on a plane, take your ass home. You know what I'm saying? They want their fucking money, dog. Right now. That's right. Yeah, the exchange is up now. Yeah, they tripling the price out here now. They on your ass. They on your ass. All these females, they want dollars. They want dollars, 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 dollars. Tiene dollars, dollars. They want dollars. Tiene dollars. That's nigga. They want dollars, dollars. <clears throat> Do you think it would be a good investment to buy a condo in Medellin? In the next 12 months. It depends. What's your bag like? Yeah, I do. It depends. I don't I don't know that if the exchange is going to... I don't think the exchange rate is going to go to 6. That would be crazy. If it goes to 6, that would be like all out fucking madness out here. Because shit would be so cheap. But like... You never know. It could. But yeah. Like... Yeah, if you would have if you bought a condo, let's say six months ago or a year ago, you're paying like twenty percent less than what you signed up to pay six months ago. So yeah, it's a good ass deal for sure. For sure, talk to me, dog, Christopher. You know what I'm saying? That's a good ass deal. If you want to invest, if you're proud to pay to play, then that's a good deal for you. If you out here being cheap and shit, and you don't want to 
really run up a bag, shop with the Colombian people, they going they gonna to get their money either way. You feel me? They going to find a way. They going to find a way. They always find a way. You know what I'm saying? Colombia is, is going crazy right now. It's going off the rails. You know what I'm saying? It's turned up, then a bitch. Like, it's turned up. It's like, it's turned up right now. Y'all need to get out before. Y'all need to come down here before it's all. It's going to be like Las Vegas in two years, three years, five years. Oh, man. When they finish the park right now, they working on Park AJS right now. They tearing all that shit up. It's all fucking, it's all just like, you know, if you've been to JRS in the last month, there's nothing but construction everywhere. It's all fucked up. Wait till that shit done. They get all them cl- new clubs and shit. They're going to make it a little bit nicer, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? They got other spots around the city that's still popping too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's about to go crazy. It's about to go crazy up there. It's a good time to invest for sure. I, I believe that it's definitely a good time to invest. Um, you know, make your money back if you want to do an Airbnb. The thing is, you gotta figure out your visa situation. That's usually the most. So if you're gonna do that, I don't know. I heard that that visa is going away. The the real estate investment visa I might, that might be going away soon. So if you can't do that, you know, then you can still be here six months out the year. Maybe get a partner. You know what I'm saying? Someone like me, someone like that's out here all the time. That's good. That can help you out with that. Um, I'm trying to tell you, mofo's. I had to hold on. I'm gonna post this first before I read it. I'm trying to tell you, mofo's. I had to stop my plans to move to Colombia. There is a Communist president, that's a piece of shit. You should watch and wait to see what happens. There are no guarantees. Hey, be careful how you talk about Colombia, man. Have some respect for Colombia, dog. Don't be talking reckless about Colombia, man. You know, they chose their president, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be all right. As long as... They got something they ain't never going to run out. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. I don't care how bad the shit get out here. Motherfuckers still going to hop on that plane. Watch. Watch. I don't care how bad the shit get. Niggas is hopping on that plane. JFK. MIA. ATL. Y'all niggas... Man, y'all on y'all way. Shit, man. Yeah, I mean, the the political situation is serious. You know what I mean? It's no joke. But y'all need to have some hope. You know what I mean? I need to have some encouragement. You know what I'm saying? Because this country's going through a lot. It's not the United States. It ain't got the same, you know, it's not as blessed financially, you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. I mean, it could happen. I'm not saying it can't happen. It could go to shit, but I'm just hoping. I'm hopeful. I just want to be hopeful on my channel. I don't want to I don't want to spread that type of that type of narrative cuz <clears throat> I sure hope that doesn't happen. I want and I feel like Colombia is too far developed for that to happen. People probably thought that about Venezuela, but you know, it just depends, man. It's a it's a tough situation. It's complex. It's political. Political, political. Y'all feel me? Yeah. So, man, how'd y'all like that video about the dating? All the uh, the dates you could go on with your Colombian girl. Bowling. I left out a lot. I could give y'all maybe two more in this video. Two more things y'all could do with your Colombian girl if y'all are interested. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know. Just let me know. I got one that I'm going to keep secret, though. It's one that ain't nobody's on it yet. Nobody's on it. 
Uh, yeah, nobody's on this one date secret. This one. He said, I love Columbia, man. I'm not talking shit, but you have to be real. You have to be real. That's true. If you're doing investing, you have to be real. No way around that. You got to look at the numbers. You got to play the chances, averages. With the with the inflation, hold up, we got to see. With the inflation, do you think other cities would be tourist destinations? Uh, I mean, I think the inflation is like, it's pretty consistent all over. Medellin is a little bit more, though. I will say that. So that does make other places more tourist destinations. So I guess to answer your question, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Like, a lot more people are, like, interested in Cali. People never really were interested in Cali until Medellin got really popular. Before, nobody wanted to go to Cali. I went to Cali a long time ago. People wasn't going to Cali. Now, you know, Cartagena has always been popular, but because of the beach, now Cartagena is like fucking, I don't know. It's a little bit different. Cartagena is a little bit more like cheesy, just like fucking touristy. Like, I don't know. You feel like Miami or something. It's weird. <clears throat> yeah, man. Who's got a super chat for your boy? Let's get it popping. Drop a question. Let's get your questions answered, man. Show your boys in love. Yes, sir. But yeah, more people were trying to go to Cali. But see, Cali is like, like, I don't know what to tell people. Like, Cali's cool and everything. Don't get me wrong. I love Cali. But it's not the place that's going to feel super comfortable for you. It's not the place that's going to, how could you say? It's just, it it lacks some of the stuff that Medellin has, point blank, period. Medellin just a bigger city. You know, you got more stuff to do in general. Cali is just a a little bit step down from that, just a little bit. It's not a bad place to be, though. It's not a bad place. It's hot, though. It's hot. I like the cool weather. I think even Medellin be hot sometimes. Like, if Medellin was, like, 4 or 5 degrees Celsius, now nah, 4 or 5 degrees Fahrenheit uh, cooler, it would be perfect. Perfect. But, yeah, Medellin is cool. It's about as close as you're going to get Boy, spacely, spill them gems and secrets, bro. What you talking about? The the day spots. What you talking about? Cartagena is America's. Hold up, Cartagena is America, basically super expensive, bro. Man, fuck Cartagena. Except I met a really good girl out there though. It's complicated. You feel me? I don't know what to think about Cartagena. Like. Ah, Cartagena is complicated, but it's super expensive, I guess. There's, there's like, these restaurants out there. Man, I'll forget the name. They're famous. You'll probably see one of them. I know, you know that new fancy mall they got in the old city? The one, it's one of the restaurants are right outside the mall. It's something with the M, I think. Like Man, Mandela, Mandalay or something. The restaurant, bro... The food's super expensive. The fucking food sucks, bro. And then they... It's like a chain of restaurants. They got, like, five different, like, different cuisine styles. They got, like, a Spanish restaurant and all different. And the shit sucks, bro. I went to two of their different restaurants and it was trash. They were all expensive as fuck. It's horrible. Santa Marta is much better. But Santa Marta is not, you're not going to find a fucking party like Cartagena where it's, you're not going to find a spot to go, go find girls and shit like that. So, you know, that's Santa Marta is definitely a spot where you want to take your girl, you know, with you. You know what I mean? That's a great spot for that. Fantastic spot for that. Santa Marta. But... Check out my video on Minka.
because Minka is only about an hour from Santa Marta. It's amazing. Incredible. Incredible. Santa Marta and Minka. A face like that has to pay to play. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They got to pay me to play. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, no. Nah. You guys got to pay to play, unfortunately, because you don't speak that language. You don't speak that lingo. You feel me? Date spots in low-key cities you was hitting at. Man, it's, it's deep. It's deep. It's just a big play. You know, it's like the whole country you could explore. Like, the cities, like, even, I mean, Perea, you know what I mean? Uh, Bogota. People see, I'm about to move to Bogota, bro. Like, Bogota is so lit. Bogota is so jumping, y'all. Tripping. Bogota is so lit. Give this video a thumbs up right now. If you're watching this shit right now, give your boy a thumbs up right now. Show your boy some love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I need a thumbs up right now. Let's go. Um. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of low-key spots, though. Tons. Tons. in Medellin. It's spots, but do you really want to go there? Because you're probably going to feel... I don't know. I could give y'all spots, but I don't want y'all to feel uncomfortable. I want y'all to feel comfortable, so I recommend y'all just go pay. Be proud to pay to play. You know what I mean? I recommend y'all do that because I don't want y'all to be uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? It takes time. It takes getting used to. Don't rush things. You know what I'm saying? You show up to a brand new country. Don't rush things. Get to know people. Get to know your surroundings. Get to know the language. Get to know the food. Get to know the money. Get to know the culture. You know? Don't be in a rush. Don't rush things. Let me know. Let me know. You know? San Andres is fire two way. Better than Santa Martin Cartagena. What? Man, I don't know about that, bro. San Andres is cool for like two days, two nights, three nights, maybe. After that, you ain't shit really to do out there. So if we're talking beaches, yeah, San Andres is better, 100%. The water is way better. I even like the food. They got one of my uh, one of my favorite restaurants out there in all of Colombia. You feel me? I fuck with San Andres. There's some cool people out in San Andres. They speak English out in San Andres. They be turned up out in San Andres, but Santa Marta is another level for a date spot with your girl and all that. It's another level. There's more shit to do. Go to up to Minka. Uh, Y'all watch my video on Minka. Do the horseback riding. You know what I'm saying? Do the horseback riding with your girl. Go see the, the snow-capped mountains. You know what I mean? Go bird watching. Go check out the waterfalls. Go forward wheeling. It's so much to do. Go on a coffee tour. You know what I mean? These are all things I've done in Minka. You feel me? And then you got Santa Marta. And they got good clubs, but they got, like, better salsa clubs and stuff like that. Like, uh, like for reggaeton and, and looking for pre-pagos and shit, there's not really a lot there for all that that I know of. You know what I mean? That's why I say that. My man said, Bogota females are mid at best. You're fucking bugging. Bogota's got hoes. You're fucking bugging. They got, like, double the population as Medellin or some shit. They got a lot more people, bro. They got hoes. 
They got baddies out there. Fucking baddies. I know some bad hoes in, in Bogota. I know some real bad hoes in Bogota, dog. For real. Some some top tier. Top tier. Toppy. Yes, sir. Ski. Y'all give the video a like right now. Y'all give the video a like right now. Tap in with your boy Cardi HQ. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know. Run it up. Let's run it up. What y'all saying, man? Where my people at? Where the HQ gang at, man? You feel me? Bogota's got them hoes, sir. Bogota's got them hoes. I'll give y'all one spot. I don't want to get blown out because I know a lot of people not even going to go. But it's this spot called Lido. It's, I a lot of people already know about Lido. It's like the La Isla of fucking Bogota, basically. But it's, it's, got, it's got some talent. Some talent, man. I ain't been in that bitch in five years. You know what I'm saying? You still be up in there. Yes, sir. Thank you for the likes. Let's keep it going. Okay. Yes, sir. Proud to pay in the strip club. I mean, shit, bro. That's what I recommend for for uh, beginners. You feel me? That's what I recommend for beginners. Because you really don't know the difference between like good and bad out here yet when you first get here. So it takes a little minute, you know what I mean? So if you feeling froggy, just pull up. You dig? <laughs> if you feeling froggy, just pull up. Don't hurt yourself, dog. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I done seen folks hurt themselves, dog. I done seen folks hurt themselves, man. Out here. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Why would you want to do that? You know, your family expecting you to come back. You feel me? You feel me? Don't do that. Be careful, man. Be careful, y'all. Y'all got to be careful, man. Walk with love, man. Shout out to the Houston Astros, man. We about to go crazy on this World Series, man. We got to take it. Got to take it, man. I've been a fucking Astros fan since I was this big, man. You feel me? Pulling up to the old Astrodome. Not many made. The old Astrodome before. You feel me? Shout out to H-Town, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Proud to paint the strippy. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of dudes painting the strippy. It is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Medellin is going up, though. They just opened up a lot of new clubs, bro. It's a lot going on in the city right now. It's a good time. And y'all probably don't know, but, like, it's 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 more stuff going on outside of uh, Poblado right now. You know, there's way more stuff going on outside of Poblado right now. Like, Poblado is the touristy shit now. It used to be that the Colombians go to Poblado when they want to flex. Now they're not even going. You know, they pulling up to different spots now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my bro, Orlando S2K, on the check-in, man. Let me know what the fuck going on with you. Get a video a like, man. Show your boy some love, dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Medellin is going crazy right now. It's going crazy. It's going crazy, man. However you want to do it, you could do it out here. However you want to do it, you could do it out here. You want to do it off the rod. You know what I'm saying? Off the hen dog. Do it however you want to do it out here. If you want to ball out or if you want to ball on the budget, you could do it. It's up to you, dog. It's up to you. You can have it your way. You can have it your fucking way out here, dog. Give the video a like right now because you can have it your way out here in Medaggio. If you know what you're doing. That's right. Orlando. 
You're on to something. You're on to something, my man. The price has certainly gone up. And that's what we're trying to figure out right now. Are you still willing to pay? Are you proud to pay to play with the current price? Which I would say is an increase of about 40% from 2018. 40%. 30 if you're lucky, 40% on average. They're fucking taxing out here in Colombia. They want their fucking money. Are you proud to pay to play still to this day? I don't know. Y'all let me know. That's what we trying to figure out. Are you still trying to, you know, I was looking at a flight to Texas the other day. These motherfuckers talking about $700, $800 just to do a round trip. That shit used to be like $300. I used to come out here for two, $300. Two or $300. Now that motherfucking plane full. All niggas. But they fucking dick in their hand trying to get down to Columbia. Shit. That's why, you know, it's a lot of frustration. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people pissed off. Because they used to, they like the way it used to be. I'm one of them people, but, you know, I don't really give a fuck. At the end of the day, I'm happy for all parties involved in this evolution. You can't fight it. You can't fight it. It has evolved. All oh, the baddies in Santa Marta are police officers. Next time, I think I'm going to risk it all. You're going to risk it all. You're going to possibly go to the spot, to the castle, the jail. Are you ready for that? You ready to risk that? Kasim is ready. He's ready to risk that. He's ready to take it there to that level. And more, it seems. For Mrs. Officer, for his Mrs. Officer in Santa Marta. Kasim, I hope you do that, my man. I hope you do that. I hope you do that. I hope you all get married and have a lot of kids, my man. You know what I'm saying? Mrs. Officer. Man, it was it's some bad cops out here, man. I was talking to a cop the other day, man. Just got a little, you know, got her number and stuff. She was cheesing. You know what I mean? They be loving it. They be loving it. They be living at the motherfucking police station. Do y'all know that? A lot of the police out here live at the police station. I was like, where you stay at? She like, Poblado. Like, where? Because you definitely wasn't raised in Poblado. She like, yeah, I stay at the police station. Like, shit. For real? I know if two chicks approach you out there trying to get it popping, that's a no-no, LOL. I don't know. It depends. It really depends, bro. Depends. Sometimes it really is what it seems like. Sometimes. Not all the time. You got to be able to tell the difference. Okay, next 10 years, it might become the next DR, man, fuck. Might be the next DR. Man, we gonna DR it. Dominicana, Republica. Republico Dominicana. Man, is that where it's headed, big dog? Is that where we going with it? Can we stop it? Can we stop it now? Turn things around. Can we still turn things around and make it right? Can we make Colombia great again? Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we start with this YouTube channel and make Colombia great again, please? Somebody help me. Somebody help me. I just need I just need at least one one person. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it all alone. I can't do it all alone. I'm trying, man. I'm fucking trying. I'm trying to make Columbia great again. I'm trying to respect this place. I want to respect this place, man. They've done a lot for me out here. You know? 
And at the same time, I want y'all to experience it. But experience and take advantage is it's a thin line between the two. You know what I'm saying? Experience and take advantage is a thin line. A lot of people take advantage and go and pew and get up out of here. That's cool. That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But they really respect when you learn the culture. That's all I'm saying. They really respect you. They really fuck with you. You know what I mean? I ain't got no problem. I ain't never had no problems out here. Shit. The biggest problems I had was bitches. That's the biggest problem I had out here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm going to Cali. Okay. Big dog say you're going to Cali, man. Man, shout out. I hope you speak Spanish. You know what I'm saying? I hope you speak Spanish. They ain't going to be talking that, that translator shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas going to figure it out quick. They going to figure you out. You know what I'm saying? But nah, Cali's dope. I love Cali. You know I love Cali? You know I love Cali? Uh-huh. They're my people. They're my people out there. They're my people out there in Cali, dog. I love them people, man. They could cook that food, too. They should be. They food be different. They should be different. Yeah, man, you gave shit. You, you good, dog. Enjoy yourself, dog. Do you, dog. You got the salsa, too? Do you, dog? You good. Orlando said that's his first language, dog. He ain't bullshitting. You thought he was bullshitting? He ain't bullshitting. Boy, ready. All right, man. It's your boy, Car HQ, man. I'm about to get ready to get out of here. I got some things to do. Man, we're about to watch the Astros. You know what I'm saying? We're on our way to the World Series. Win. You know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta finish that shit off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And, you know, it's a lot going on in the world. I just had to come talk to the people real quick. You know, discuss this whole proud to pay to play situation. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a complex thing. Colombia's changing. It's a changing environment. I just wanted to have that discussion. I'm glad y'all were a part of it. So thank you guys. Give this video a thumbs up on your way out. You know what I'm saying? Check out some of the other videos on my channel, man. Hit me up on Instagram at kari.hq for a consultation. Let's get it popping, dog. Let's get it popping. All right. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close it out, man. Thank y'all for watching. Yeah. Let's go, let's go.